Early, I get by with a little help from a big friend. I'm gonna try with a little help from a big friend. Say goodbye with a little help from my friends. Yes, I get by with a little help from my with a little help from my friends. I think I just lost my lunch. <laughs> You think the lobsters would share some of their popcorn with us? No chance. They're too shellfish. Oh. <laughs> too shellfish. And we're back. And indeed. Brilliant. And Absolutely brilliant. I think we wanted to do a little bit of a talk about the video. Now that they've been. Right. So, I, uh, yeah, that was a lot of that was set up from the uh, the passing of Jim Henson anniversary. 20 years. Yeah. 20 years 20 ago. 20 years of Jim Henson not being with us anymore. That, man, time flies by. Lucky, that's a lot. They that's came up unexpected. with some amazing stuff. He does. Very innovative. Oh, yeah. Actually, he, really died, he died like a month before really? I got hired with Disney. Really? Wow. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah same thing weird. here. The uh, yeah, Muppet Vision opened up about 20 years ago. That's mm -hmm. true. Mm -hmm. wow. And that opened up just after he died. So we'll be entering the, yeah, we'll be entering the 20th anniversary of Muppet Vision over at the yeah. studios. Yep. And uh, other videos, we want to thank uh, the, the folks who sent in the music video that has been going through the fandom. No, no, that was about... 30 people that sent that yeah. video. So for every, all 30 of all you, <laughs> all 30 of you, thank you very much. Yes, thank you very much. We played all of them at once for you. Yeah. yeah. And uh, also we had the... the well, who, who sang that video? What, what was the deal with that video? Well, it was a, a, a musical group, and we can get the specifics on it, but it was a musical group in New York who did a, a casting call. They said they wanted uh, some folks with fursuits to appear in their music video, and Foxwell kind of called people up and arranged it, I believe. Oh, yeah, okay. And it's a group called The Pains of Being Pure at Heart. Yeah. Good job, Foxwell. And uh, that's they, they used actual the fursuiters, not just rented mascots. They actually asked people that had their own unique fursuits. So it wasn't like that. that Moby video. No, this was something they actually wanted, like, local, unique costumers. Is, now, is there anyone in the uh, audience part of that video? Uh, I'm sure, because they've been subservient on our show. Yeah, well, are they watching no, like right now? I don't see anybody in channel, but if you are in channel... Like Skippy, if you're watching, give me a ring. Scream and, let's, out. and we can have you as a call-in and talk a bit about that video. Now, that is a, a professional music band, or is that a fandom yes. band? No, they're, they're a real band. They're a mainstream okay, band. They're, they're not part of the fandom? Nope. No. Okay, gotcha. I think from what I heard is one of the members is a quote-unquote furry. Oh, so there's a link in there. There's a okay. link, yeah. So he like goes to the conventions or something? I don't know. But anyways, a uh, very nice video, well produced. I'll also say that Spin.com, where Spin Magazine comes from, mm -hmm. says that that video is unbelievably, adorably cute. Yes, it is. There's oh, hey, here's my phone. Ah. I bet that's Skippy. <laughs> is it Skippy? Is. It is Tony Ringtail. Ah. Okay, hold on, let me get this. And uh, also, thank you for the the person hey, who said in the, uh, what is the fandom video? Are you what is the fandom video? That, that was a lot of fun. If you have information on that video, I've had a couple of requests backstage to uh, cool. let people know where they can yeah. find that. So if you can do that, if you can post in channel where people could find that video, that would be awesome. Not the music video. They can hear you. But the uh, the other video, the one that talked about Anthrocon and further confusion at West Fur Fest in <laughs> Furby, Atlanta. And there were lots of other little fun things in there. Covering up the sound of Herbie's voice on the phone. Covering up the sound of Herbie's voice on the phone. Do, 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 do. There. <laughs> and it's done. Sorry about that. No you, problem. We can all get that. Five, yeah, they five, heard five. it. One, two, one, two. They all heard it. Ten, ten to twenty. Wow. <laughs> and who be you? Hi. You, you be new. Good day, mate. Good day. How are you? Name's Dusty. Dusty. I was who about are you? to say that's the worst Australian <laughs> accent I've ever heard. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> and now the we yappy phone kind of is ringing. <laughs> we have some kind of phone call coming in. Hello. Hello. Hey, who's this? Good day, mate. This is this is Skippy Fox. Yay, Skippy Fox. How are you, pal? Hey, how you doing, Skippy? Where you I'm all right. How about you guys? Are you drunk? Good. Are you tired? He's drunk. Oh no, I'm not too tired. I just wasn't planning on calling in, and then ah. Tony made me call in. Thank you, Tony, for making him call in. <laughs> Man, I've been talking to you forever. You doing good? Oh yeah, I'm doing great. How are you guys? Pretty good. We just showed you all over the internet. What the, what the heck? That yeah, was I saw. The music video. So tell us the story. Yeah, what's the poop on this one? Uh, everyone, inquiring minds want to know what's the deal. Okay, well, uh, I don't know. I was just talking <laughs> to Oswald one day, and he said that he knew about this video that was happening in Brooklyn. 
And so you were the contact person? I was, I was, uh, Foxwell knew there was oh. the contact person. I think Foxwell. the contact person was Jay Van Buren. I don't know if you know him. Mm -mm. It's like Jay the Painter, something like that. Nope. Oh, of the Los Angeles Van Burens? Never heard of him, sorry. Okay. No. So that's cool, uh, so Foxwell well. gave you a ring, and he, and he, uh, so keep going. I'll shut up. So, yeah, well, uh, I don't know much else, you know, what else is there to say? We went over there, we had a whole lot of fun. The shooting went from like 2 p.m. till and 11 or 12. And where was it shot at? Uh, just some random studio in Brooklyn. Oh, okay, cool. So, uh, yeah. did they fly you guys out there to do this? Well, or? they live in New York. We we are all from the Northeast. For me, it was like a one and a half hour drive. And That's cool. Oh, oh boy! Thank you, Tony. Yeah, Yargo was in there. Um and, uh, so how long did it take to shoot this video? Um, I believe they did it over two days. For the the segments with us, they spent about ten or eleven hours shooting. Wow. Yeah, it takes a while. They, and yeah. you guys sweat your butts off maybe ten and eleven hours in the suit. Um. We spent most of the time in suit and a lot of the time running around. Uh, we were pretty exhausted and dehydrated after that. Got but they it. were really nice. They kept the place cool. They gave us a whole lot of water. Good, Good. for them. Um, also, now, as far as the, what, what was the name of this song, or, or basically, why suits in the video? What, what was the story? Um, well, there was a, there was a script originally. They they threw out most of it. Um, was she having uh, hallucination or something? What's that? That lady, was she having like a hallucination or something? No, she saw uh, You know, that's completely up to interpretation, I would argue, but um, honestly, I think the original script was, was mainly pretty literal. Uh, she was invited to a party. Yep. The party is full of plushies or furries or whatever you want to call them in the script, and, they, and she just goes in, they, they give her something to drink. She starts to have a good time. She passes out, she wakes up, and then it gets a little bit... Uh, Weird. Acid trippy, I guess, where all of a sudden everyone is normal and she's the only one in fursuit. But then she sees Foxwell and, you know, they, they hold hands and walk off, whatever. Um, so, like oh, I said, okay. you know, they ended up throwing most of that out, but the result was still pretty interesting. It was very cute. Yeah, I was about to say I don't remember seeing that part. But, uh, so that's cool. So she basically just goes to a, a furry party. So, yeah. The moral that's cool. of the story is the cuter you are, you get the girl. <laughs> well, that's always the case, so true. I suppose. Well, nice. That's awesome, man. Well, it is very popular, and people are totally yeah. digging it, and they're they're loving it up. So, congratulations. Good opportunities Thanks. there. Yeah, well, it, was, it was definitely a whole lot of fun to do. Good, man. I mean, you did a great job. I left you on the drums. I didn't know you could play the drums. Yeah, there was the invite I, to the party. It, it turned out it was pretty easy. You know, you just sort of make motions with the sticks, and suddenly there's drums sounding. So it's like rock band. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like rock band. Sounding. It has whiskers also. I'm trying to read the flyer. It can't, it's illegible. Do you have Hold a copy on. of the Actually, flyer? No, here, here. You know what? Clementine, who was in the video, she has a couple of copies of those papers, so she might be able to scan one and show it to people. Sure, we'd like to see that. Yeah, it's pretty funny. I think it's all puns, but yeah. So the the cool thing about this one was it wasn't like, you know, uh, supposed to be something else, supposed to be like a mascot football break time. It was supposed yeah, to be just a fur party. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Right? Yep. Yeah, it wasn't trying to pretend to be something else. Nope. It was Neato. definitely very cool. Definitely hitting the mainstream. Yeah. Harder. It showed us all in a pretty good light. It was fun. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, definitely nothing bad about it. Just yeah. bizarre. Except for Foxwell hitting on the women. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, even that you. was unusual. There we there's, are. There's yeah. a van. Look at you rocking out. Rocking the house. <laughs> rocking his house. So our were our stream is really laggy right now, so it hasn't come up yet. So were there, <laughs> was there anything in particular that you found difficult about making this video? There he is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> difficult? In the background. Yeah. No, I don't think so. Um, and a lot of people are saying that I'm all over the place, and I, I guess that's just because I... Story You're the cutest! I, I was just being a little more assertive, I guess, and wanting uh -huh, to be in front uh -huh. of the camera. Yeah. So I was Fox being a complete up. camera whore. What you just said, the cuter you are. Or what Tony just said. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> I think Foxwell was color. the camera whore. <laughs> he had a bit of a role there. He actually had a, a uh, purpose. Yeah, it was kind of written in. I bet you everybody smelled funky at the end of that shoot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Foxwell was actually kind of my fault, too, because they were looking for a romantic interest. And then Foxwell and I sort of, uh, I coughed What's and pointed right to there? him. 
and and everyone <laughs> sort of looks the other way. He's and puppeting. Dylan, who's directing, just <laughs> looks him up and down. He's like, yeah, you'll.